son of USB smart adapter. How can you make smart USB devices such as cameras, power suppliers, power adapters, fans, radiators and whoever knows what. Unboxing and review how to add it to eWilling app, how it works with Google Assistant, some user stories, how I use it, all that and not only in this material. Consider subscribing, SmartTube welcomes, let's go. Here what you can see is a USB smart adapter from the Sonoff. It's a device that you can control by the Wi-Fi to which you can plug a USB and by this device you can turn on and turn off things like cameras, power adapters, power supply, fans, radiators and everything what is on the USB. It is a very small device as all Sonoff devices you can add them to the application eWilling e and uh, then you will be able to use the Google Assistant or Alexa to control it after of course adding your account to the Google Assistant of the eWilling app. The device is not expensive, the price you can see on the screen. I will also put some links to the best offer that I found on my local market and uh, the Polish market and I will try to find also on the Amazon and probably on AliExpress too. So maybe let's first look at the box. So here you can see two of them. One I already uh, used somewhere. Uh, I have already more than one uh, in use, so I will show you how I use them. But let's go to the box. Let's look first at the box. So this is the device, how it looks like. And that's the icon of the, of the app. Here it works with the Google and with uh, Alexa. And then I will go to the site. So yeah, you can remotely control it and you can set some timings and control by, by voice. Like I said, by Google Assistant or Alexa. Here we have some uh, more details about it. So the maximum output is 2.5 amperes and it works as Wi-Fi as I said. The input 5 volts and probably that's it. Another side, so here we have the QR code uh, for the application. So if you scan the QR code then you will be linked to the, to the application and easily you can download it, download it. And from the bottom and from the top, micro. Okay, so let's go straight to the bo box. So this is the device, as you can see, that's what we can see on the box. So let's keep it here. And on the device there is a film that actually you can take it. So the device is not heavy at all. Here is a button to reset it. Uh, I think if you keep it long enough it will start blinking and then it will reset and it will be in the pair mode and you can add it. Here we plug to the power supply usually. You can find some another information but actually the same thing what you could see on one of the side of the box. Yeah, at the, at the back. And that will be everything. Quite small and not heavy. What else do we have here? So this is the special QR code for the device. So now you can add it to your application. So I will not show you it, what's this, but that's the QR code. And then we have a manual. Oh, another sticker. Oh, no, it's not a sticker, it's a paper. And the manual. I will quickly show you what we have here. Let me find the English. So here we have and the other side. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let me pack it back and let's focus on the device. So far so good, yeah? So we have it and uh, now I assume we would like to add it. So I would need another device, I mean smartphone on tablet where I could add, add it. So just give me a sec, a bit crazy setup. You can see my lights, but this is how I could do it, so you could also see it fine. So I'm on the tablet, I'm already in the EWI link, so you can see that I have already some uh, USB smart adapters and some other things, but let's, let's add it. 
so i'm plugging in the device to the uh, usb computer there is already a light i hope you can see it it's in blue and blinking quite fast so it means uh, it is in the pairing mode so i'm clicking plus we could scan the qr code but i will not do it i will do a quick add one device at the top and use my location that's fine and actually uh, it only works with the uh, 2.4 g wi-fi so i need to switch to other wi-fi but okay i'm on my standard now I need to type a password now it's looking for the device it found it getting information about device registering device okay and i got it as you can see it's quite fast let's call it micro new and it will be in the bedroom okay and okay we we have it and now the other light which is near the, the blue one should turn on when i turn it on you don't see it uh, it's like very light but it's there you could see that when i click the button it will turn off yeah immediately but that's fine so everything works as you can see now let's look how the google would work with it so we need to go to the to the google assistant first what i would do is uh, what you need to do is link link your app or your account to the google and i will not show you how to do it but it's quite easy after adding a new device it's good to do the sync devices sync devices okay now we are asking the sync devices and now it will look for new devices and it will add them to the google assistant okay so it look already for that and uh, we can look for our so we micro micro new we call it micro new let's find it micro new it's here see and i turn on yes i can see in the light and i can turn off i will not say the wo all words to turn on i will type the message so it would be the same like you would say to the google assistant that you want to turn on turn oh not the polish turn on turn on micro new and well we're saying here now turn on micro new all right turning micro new on and micro new on and um, i can see the light that is on and if i tap on it it should turn it off yeah it's off so as you can see google assistant it's also very easy and we have no problem with it just add the icon to the google assistant and that's it and now you can control it i think now we can move to the user stories how i'm using it and i will show you on the video everything first user story as you can see here the usb smart adapter is attached to the power adapter this power adapter is from e, e camera i don't know sure what's the model but it's, a, it's kind of an indoor uh, camera but uh, this is like this and then i have a camera that's, that is here no, the the final place of the camera will be near the rails where i will put the rail mask so to hide the the rails and then i i thought that i will just uh, stick it to to it and the camera will be there and then the whole room should be easily captured by 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 it i used to have it you can see that the the ceiling just a bit drop off because i had to take the camera off and it took the paint okay so how i use this when i want to turn on the camera or when i want to use it i just you know turn the usb smart adapter and then uh, the camera is on i don't want to have it on the whole time in this with this camera you can turn it off uh, in the application however i'm not sure about the solution I, I don't know how it can work you know someone could enter it and i don't know maybe turn it on maybe the Chinese can can see me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just I thought that it could be it could be a better option that I can remotely turn it on by by, by this son of uh, USB smart adapter, and then camera automatically turns on, and uh, I have the vision on the of the room. I think that's that's it. So this is the first uh, user story, and now we can move on to the second one. 
and now we can move to the second user story so as you can see i have a power adapter here again and then there is a usb smart adapter from the sunroof and then we have a cable and where it goes so it and we have it here here as you can see this is my my dashboard to the smart home system this is a home assistant where i created floor plan and you can see that it is not so elegant cable is like hanging here but how it's gonna be done is that here behind the fridge uh, i have a socket so the cable will be from from there on the side of the cupboard i will have a hole and then the cable will go out from it and the whole tablet will be in the frame so you won't see the cable but how it's done the the tablet is in my smart home system so i know what is the battery level what i'm doing that if battery level drops under 30 percent then this usb smart adapter will turn on then the, the charging will start it will charge the battery up to i think 90 percent i said it and then it will turn off on the end of the cable it, it goes to the green if the battery is if it starts charging so now it's not charging so this is my second user story i think it's quite nice for this setup you need to have i think a home assistant the easiest solution is is the home assistant that you know about your your tablet or actually any other device if you have a smartphone then it will also you will also know about the, the level of the battery so that's that and here i can just tell you if you like the floor plan and what you can see here how it's done let me know in the comments i think I'll, i will prepare some uh, tutorial how i created that and here you can see that this is the the ground floor but i thought that i will prepare the the first floor first floor and uh, based on first floor you will have the the tutorial how to do it and i'm using the sweet home 3d create the floor plan and the rest is from the home assistant yeah i think for now i will not tell you more about it but we can move to the third user story here you can see my tv tv stand and and inside it i have a xbox and uh, people usually put the xbox or playstation on just on the top but uh, i rather like to have uh, a clean tops so i just decided to put the playstation and or the xbox under it to the cupboard tv to the tv stand and here i have it so i'm just thinking how to show you it so there can be a mess but uh, i'm sorry i'm uh, I have in my hand the light and also the the phone. So just one second. I'm gonna try to keep both, and I need one hand free. So let me open it, and I will show you what was. So here you can see the Xbox, but up there, what you have, you have two radiators. One it's taking the air from from Xbox uh, outside, and the second one is taking air outside to the Xbox. So uh, and and some holes, some vents, just for the better air circulation and also for the cables. And these radiators are connected to the uh, USB smart adapter from the Sonoff. And if I turn on Xbox, they will also turn on. And maybe I can demonstrate that. So I'm turning on the Xbox. Yeah, so it's turning on. And uh, what else here I can tell you that when I turn off the Xbox, they do not turn off immediately. And uh, they stay on for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, they, the radiators turn off. So, let me see, you see that the Xbox is on. And now, just wait a bit, but because uh, the Xbox is also in my smart home system, in the home assistant, and uh, this is how they communicate so if the xbox is on then it will send then the automa automation will turn on and turn on the uh, radiator so over there you can also see my uh, raspberry pi 3b plus where i have my home assistant mm, yeah this is the place where it all started with the automations and my smart home yeah so it's still nothing 
Yeah, let's wait a bit. It's for sure on, but the radiators are not on. Yeah, yeah, they turn on. So yeah, you can see on the screen that they turn on and they are spinning like crazy. So I think from the those three user stories that I showed you, probably this one is um, the use the best one. And with the dashboard, with the tablet, is it's also quite good and useful the camera is more like maybe security and that's that so i'm sure that we could create much more user stories about uh, the usb smart adapter and please comment put in the comments how you want to use it or maybe how you use it already and share your thoughts about it and now i think we can go to the uh, summary it's time for the summary i recommend this device the price is for this device is as you can see on the screen you can find the links to it on uh, to a few platforms i think that it can be very useful if you have a specific situation yeah so for like for me i think for the the camera it was not needed for like it's not a must have so i could i could live without it but for the my for my dashboard i think it is something what you must have the charger cannot work like all the time because it will you know i think destroy the battery so i would highly recommend it for such options it also you know for not not in all cases it would be a solution because sometimes you don't have space so you need to use a, a solution that is in the socket socket hole not sure how to call it but if you have some space and you can have a cable and you are using just the standard uh, power supply and uh, yeah i think this is the right solution easy to set up and for the playstation or for the xbox or anything actually what you have uh, or for what for what you want to use the radiators i think it's a great great solution so, so i'm as you could see i have two of them uh, in my tv stand and uh, they work great so i could reduce the temperature quite well and uh, i had to add the home assistant for it to create automation but uh, if you if you would not have it you can still tell uh, the google assistant or alexa to turn on the xbox radiators and it would understand and would turn them on if you you turn on the xbox and you just say to to google just to turn them on yeah and that's it and uh, you can have also a routine in google that after you know two hours it would turn off or you can at the end say turn off the radiators in 15 minutes so then it would also work so, so you can still use it the other way not not i'm not as I'm using them but uh, the radiators could be used in some other situations for example if you have a dryer and the dryer is not in the best position and sometimes you can feel that the air is not uh, circulating well so you turn on the dryer and you can have a radiator behind it that put some extra air air movement and yeah and the everything works better another example it can be behind the fridge or behind uh, or behind the stove so electric stove so um, the electric stove especially induction stove needs a nice air circulation and uh, you know who forgot about that about that you can just destroy it so for example you can have also something like this if you turn on the electric stove then uh, you could have automation that would turn on those uh, radiators so i think that's all about those user studies but please if you have some some yours examples uh, share them in the comments maybe someone will find something for themselves so other visitors could benefit from it and maybe they will they, yeah they will use it so please write your examples in terms of the device i didn't have any problems with with them i think i'm using them for like two years now uh, those for the xbox and for the camera and they were they were working well the whole time nothing happened to them so the device doesn't seem to be faulty uh, but you know 
that's that's in my case the device is on the wi-fi and it's quite small as you can see so just to make it short if you have some nice cases where you could use it i highly recommend it and you will find it very useful i will not show as, as yeah i didn't show how to add it to the home assistant but uh, i'm using this device in the home assistant as as you could already notice but uh, i didn't show how how to add it there but it's 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 very easy you just need to add the the add-in the official you can add the official add-in to the home assistant and just straight away have all your devices from the e-wheeling app if you have any questions about this device please write a comment consider subscribing see you next time bye